Welcome back to the show. As we were joking before heading into the break, we've got a great topic of conversation, but something that we want to get you informed about. And we're talking bed bugs. Joining us, Anne Stanton Lokska, joining us, Ottawa Public Health Inspector. Great to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. And you know, we joke about the topic, and and I say, you know, are we seeing more of it? And, and you pretty much said to me, we've seen this since we were living in caves. Exactly. It's just there's more attention now being brought to the issue. That's exactly it. All right, what are we looking at uh, when we bring up the subject of bed bugs? What should we be looking for? how to get rid of them. Give us a rundown. Okay, well first the first thing is we have to get, remove the stigma. Uh, everybody assumes that that it's only certain people or certain places. Bed bugs just want a warm body. They're an equal opportunity pest. So they're looking for somebody who's breathing and somebody who's got warm blood. Uh, they can be anywhere from a five-star hotel to a student residence to a private home, anything like that. How are they able to how are they able to get in though? If, if we're looking at that, they, you know, it could be anywhere from the five star hotel down to a dorm living. How are they getting in or what's happening that they're, they're able to grow? and to be in our beds. Okay, well, they're the greatest hitchhikers, and that's part of the problem, is with more and more international travel, people are, are um, unbeknownst to themselves, bringing them home. And it can either be that they can get it onto their luggage or onto their clothing or, um, you know, into their other bags or purses, whatever, and bringing them into their home or into their offices even. What should you be looking for? How do you know that you actually have been infected with bed bugs? Okay, well, bed bugs tend to look like apple seeds, the size of them. They have five stages. They have eggs, and they go through nymph stage and an adult. So they start off looking very, very tiny, and then as they grow, as they get a blood meal, they shed their exoskeleton, which is a casing, and you'll mm -hmm. see that. And then they'll become almost the size of half a piece of wild rice. And they are obvious to see. Um, they like to hide in the cracks and crevices around your bed, in your bed frame. Um, in the headboard, in bedside tables, and curtains or anything that touches the bed, or even clothing or things like that. Well, you know, it, are you you get bitten, mm -hmm. and so you'll you, is it itchy? Like, how do you know a you can go looking for them mm -hmm. and be able to figure that out? But how would you start to realize that maybe you've been they, they've had their lunch? <laughs> well, generally. They <laughs> They, they tend to look uh, for capillaries in your, in your blood or in your skin. So they would tend to bite in threes linearly. So we tend to call it breakfast, lunch, and supper, mm. which is not very nice, but that's the reality. Uh, with some people, though, they may not react. It's just like some people have mosquito bites. They get really itchy. Other people don't. So that's why you can have people, two people in a bed where one's totally covered in bites and the other person doesn't seem to be. So oh. it's very discern dis disconcerting. Okay, we can take care of this issue. Yes. Run us through what we should what should happen if we discover that we that we're infected. Okay, there's there's three things basically. You want to identify them, you want to prepare, and you want to treat. So you can identify them by either having somebody like myself, a health inspector, go out uh, to your rental accommodation, your home, and we can see if they have them. Or a pest control operator can do that. Mm -hmm. Once they've been identified, then you want to do what's called an integrated pest management system. So you're going to Prepare your room, move everything from this, the outsides to the center, vacuum the beds, the bed frame, wash and dry everything in a really hot dryer for half an hour and that will kill all the stages of the bed bugs. Uh, make sure you put all the things into clean plastic bags, tie them up, and then you'll have an inter uh, uh, sorry, a licensed pest control operator come in and treat your, your unit. Okay, so it's not necessarily that you have to check everything and everything goes curbside. No. Good, no. It's good news right there. Thanks for the information, and hopefully uh, some of you were still eating your breakfast as we were showing you <laughs> plenty of video uh, right there. Uh, some inf interesting information indeed. We're going to take a short commercial break. We're going to be back with your 7 o'clock headlines uh, right here on CTV Morning Live. Good morning. Hope everyone has a great day.